Hello, this is Lori Radin, a certified life coach and founder of Momnificent. Today, I want to give you 10 time-tested tips for living a balanced life. Maintaining balance in life is an always changing process, just as our lives are constantly changing. Balance is not some static goal that we achieve and then move on. We achieve balance in the moment, understanding that in the next moment, everything may change. Take just a minute and try standing on one foot for a period of about three minutes or until you lose your balance. What did you notice about your body while you were trying to stay balanced? Probably your leg and foot muscles are working to keep you still. You might crunch up your toes to try and grab onto the floor. You'll feel the muscles in your legs flex if you start to lose balance. You might even have to throw your arms out to the side and teeter from side to side or maybe bend forward to keep from falling. Your body was making adjustments, some small and possibly even bigger ones, to keep you balanced. Mastering life balance is handled in the same way. When you feel yourself feeling stressed and unbalanced, it's time to make an adjustment in your life. So here are 10 tips or adjustments that you can work on to maintain a balanced life. Number one is that you need to discover your true self. Balance occurs when who you are, what you want to do with life, and what you value are aligned with your thoughts, your activities, and choices. To honor your true self, you must know yourself well. So identify your values, communicate your needs, and respect your priorities. Number two, know what you want. Pay attention to what's important to you and align your life with the desires of your heart. Formulate a crystal clear vision for your life and set goals to achieve this vision. Living a balanced life may require you to make changes in your life. If you're not satisfied with a particular area of your life, it means your choices and activities do not support your priorities. It's hard to feel balanced when you're not living your life in integrity with who you are. Number three, you want to analyze where you spend your time. Living a life of balance requires us to make conscious choices about how we spend our time, making sure that our choices reflect our most important values. Not everyone places equal value on each area of their life. Some people value health, for instance, over relationships, while others value family over spirituality. You don't, you don't need to spend equal time in each area of your life to live a balanced life. Seasons of life and transitional periods often play a big factor in how we choose to spend our time. Number four, you want to prioritize daily. Maintaining balance means that we ask ourselves daily what we want to focus on. We pay attention to what we need to feel balanced. Some days it might mean that we need to focus on getting our home organized. Other days we may have a need to take care of our body and relax. Look for signs of stress in your life and ask yourself what you need. Make a list of tasks that you would like to accomplish in a given day, the tasks that will bring about the peace and harmony in your life. Build in a constant awareness of all the areas of your life that need attention and make daily adjustments according to your need for balance. Number five, you want to simplify your life. The more activities and the more possessions that you have to manage, the more unbalanced your life will feel. Too much of anything can lead to stress. So learn to live with the basics. Fewer clothes make laundry much easier. Clean up is much faster with only a modest amount of toys. Avoid overcommitting. There's nothing worse than feeling like you're constantly on the go, rushing from one activity to the next. By simplifying your life, you can avoid that frenzied state that so many of us live in. Number six, you want to recognize and manage your internal conflicts. Our internal balance is disturbed when we are in conflict with ourselves. 
whether it's guilt over making a mistake or worrying about the uncertain economy, we must recognize and manage our internal conflicts so that we can experience peace of mind. Tell the truth about who you really are, and don't be afraid to be different than the norm. Keep an open mind to different perspectives, but choose which perspectives feel right to you. Internal conflict occurs when we aren't clear about who we are or when we are not living our life according to our core beliefs. So be crystal clear about what you believe and honor your beliefs. Number seven, live in the moment. Worrying about the future and drudging up the past for the purpose of relieving, of reliving that pain will block your energy. To stay balanced, you need to keep the energy flowing in your body. Practice experiencing the moment and everything that it entails. Allow yourself to feel whatever emotions come up for you. If you feel angry, feel the anger. If joy is your primary emotion, embrace it wholeheartedly. Do not stuff your feelings or try to make negative feelings go away. Just be in the moment and you will naturally move through the feelings. Balance requires flexibility and the ability to roll with whatever life hands us. Fighting with life will disrupt the flow. Number eight, make choices that move you toward balance. For every yes you say in life, you're saying no to something else. If you say yes to sleeping in, you may be saying no to working out or taking quiet time alone. If you say no to cleaning up your house, you might be saying yes to spending time with the children. Say yes to those tasks, activities, and situations that make you feel more alive and no to the ones that drain you. Pay attention to the choices you make and how they affect all areas of your life. You might choose to take on a promotion at work, but do it only after you've assessed whether or not it will affect the balance in your life. Make decisions in your life by weighing the effects these choices have on your entire life. Number nine, nurture your spirit and embrace love. We all have an innate need to love and be loved. Through the ups and downs of life, we experience an array of unsettling emotions from sadness, anger, and fear, sometimes guilt. Love is the emotion that balances it all. By connecting to and nurturing our spirit, we can experience peace and calm when the storms of life are raging all around us. Spend time in nature. It will ground you. Practice meditation or yoga. Do community service work that enables you to give love to the world. Keep your soul filled with positive and inspiring activities and you will experience spiritual balance. Number 10 is resources and support system. To maintain balance in our lives, often we need additional resources and a strong support system. Resources include money, facilities, out-of-the-box thinking, time, books, and people. Your support system includes all the people in your life plus the ones that you haven't met yet. We're not expected to go through life alone. Sometimes we need help. It takes money to survive and pay for the activities that are important to us. Sometimes we can use a brainstorming partner to see other possibilities in our life. Time is always a precious commodity that, if managed wisely, can greatly meet our need for balance. Books help us learn about new ways to grow. And our relationships, of course, are our number one resource for helping us create the life we want to live. People support us, love us, mentor us, and teach us. Balance is a fluid state. It changes from day to day. So make sure that you're assessing balance in your life over a period of time. One or two stressful days does not mean that you're living out of balance. But if chaos is the norm for you, you could be yearning for some life balance. Just like the tide moves in and out, look at whether your life is moving away or towards balance. Would you like to be able to put your life in balance? At the Magnificent Mom Club, we have a coaching group that is beginning April 5, 2010. 
In this group, you will receive all the tools that you need to create a lifestyle that is perfect for you. So please visit www.momnificentgroups.com. That's M-O-M-N-I-F-I-C-E-N-T groups.com to register for the Your Life coaching program. Thanks so much, and we'll probably be talking soon.